Welcome to our Canberra family day trip adventure. We began our journey in Ulladulla on Murramurang land. Got up early to get the most out of the day and started making our way to Canberra down the coast via the Clyde Mountain. We decided rather than eating breakfast at home that we would make a pit stop into Braidwood. Mum had made a lovely sweet morning treat the day before and had also packed the thermos and some mugs, coffee sachets, so that we could have a little bit of a breakfast session. We just pulled up at one of the local parks there and I actually thought that this park was fantastic. If you have a kid, there would be definitely hours worth of fun to be had there. They also had a flying fox which all three of us girls managed to get on as well and have a good time with that. I had a little bit of a fail. Lily was disappointed that she didn't get to capture it but um, trying to get off the flying fox while wearing a dress I did end up getting stuck and was sort of like one leg in the air, one leg almost trying to get the ground. It was just an embarrassing moment that I'm sharing with you guys on the internet. But I know that we are friends and that you guys are going to continue to be nice to me rather than make fun of me like my sisters did. Besides, there is no evidence, so there's nothing anyone can use against me other than my own word. After our brief morning stop, it was time to head back in the car and make our way to the city. Our first stop of the day was to go to the Australian National Museum, which is located right on the shores of Lake Burley Griffin. Entry was free. However, if you wanted to attend one of the special exhibits, you could buy paid tickets. The museum was very much a sensory experience with light sounds and interactive elements to accompany all of the exhibits. The museum was great. We spent about an hour and a half in there. We didn't, however, go into the paid exhibit, so you could easily spend two hours there if you have the time. It's about 11.30 now, and we're gonna head on to our brunch destination. I had looked online for some of the best brunch spots in Canberra, and one of the recommendations that came up as one of the top listings was the cupping room. It's also in the city center and was just a short drive from the museum. We got ourselves a paid park and went into order. The aesthetic was really pretty and the menu was awesome as well. Myself, Mum and Lil all ordered coffees to start off with and grabbed ourselves some water to combat the very hot day we were experiencing in Canberra. I grabbed the avo on toast and so did Mum and Lily. Shell got the chicken burger and Dad got a bacon and egg roll. This avo on toast was probably the best one I have ever experienced and as much as I would have liked to, I couldn't even finish it all. After we had finished at lunch, our next destination for the day was the War Memorial. Entry to the memorial is free. However, ever since the pandemic, you 
do need to book tickets online and you'll be given a time slot that you need to arrive at and there is generally about a two hour window that you are given to look around which as long as you are not reading every single piece of information of which there is plenty to take in then the two hours should be long enough to get you through. One of my favorite areas in the museum is the Hall of Memory and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is very solemn space in the memorial and shows the enormity of lives lost during conflict. While Australia has engaged in many conflicts to protect not only our interests but those of the Commonwealth, for tens of thousands of years we were not a part of the Commonwealth but in fact preserved and protected by our First Nations people who are the traditional owners. I pay my respects to the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people on whose land we are walking today. I acknowledge their continuing connection to culture and country and and thank them for their service during armed conflict. I extend that respect to all service men and women who have fought or died in defense of our nation. The tomb of the unknown soldier says it best. He is all of them, he is one of us. We spent about an hour and a half at the War Memorial. They are currently undergoing mass renovations and extensions that are planned to be completed in 2028. That did mean, however, that some of the exhibits weren't there. We've now made our way down to Fishwick and we're gonna check out these big sallies. That Salvo's was rated the best yep. thrift shop in Canberra. We did manage to pretty much all pick up something except for Lily. However, I would say we still have a lot of great thrift shops in our area and I reckon even the ones in Nara would rival that Sally's. All right, we're off to our final destination, which is still in Fishwick. We're going to Capital Brewing. It's currently 31 degrees, so we're in desperate need of a beverage. We had once again another great family day trip. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, I have an entire travel playlist, which has not only my family day trips, but some adventures I've gone on with Dave as well. So make sure you go check that out. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.